Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We are back for more of the Chihayafu Greatness, this being the 13th episode of the third season. And these matches are well underway. Uh, Arata and Hardas is going to go to a game three, I believe, to decide it all, obviously. And then Inakuma's and Megamu's match is going to game two. Inakuma did win match one, or game one, I should say, of the match. Um, so yeah, we're continuing on with that. They also left us off with, because it's been two weeks, but they left us off with that cliffhanger, right? With Chihaya whispered into Arata's ear and Tai Chi C and all that and whatever the hell that was, right? So I want to see what's up with that uh, in this episode as well and also to see you know, how the matches continue to unfold. So yeah, let's get into this episode, everyone. See what we got. We're starting at the very beginning, zero seconds, and we're going to get into it in three, two, one, play. Yeah, Harda won game one, and then he yielded, so my picks, the veterans, are doing pretty good. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. That, this. We don't even know what she said or what is going on here. Maybe she's trying to act like Suo. I don't know if that's still what she's going for, but I, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I do. And judging from Arata's reaction, it's like, maybe she did say, like, <laughs> what did you tell him? Yeah. Just something I thought of went out. Right, I thought, that's what I was saying. I was like, are we cheering for Arata? That's not it. Okay. Good. Good. That's... True too. <laughs> that's that's true too. Yeah. So maybe we are overthinking that. But the way they visually showed it, right? It's like they kind of got us with that. <laughs> they kind of got us with that for sure. I was thinking we'd probably focus more on Inokuma and Megumu's game in this one, because they're only on the second game. Wow. Well, I mean, if Inokuma wins game two, then it's over. So, but I feel like we focus more on that because Harada and Arata are onto the third game. Oh, we'll see. I still stand by my picks. I still stand by my picks and who I want. That third game between Harada and Arata is about to be nuts, though. <laughs> and it is I who withers and wilts. He's probably thinking this is his best chance. Yep, yep. Because if he would have played the second, and then what if he loses, and then he's just drained for the third, right? It's like... <laughs> of course, yeah, that's what he's doing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she figured it out. <laughs> Aww. Aww. That's so cute. <laughs> Queen. She has to win, dude. She has to win. Like, I love Megamu, but she has to win, dude. There's just no way. Oh, she's going to put it right there. That's that's what's up. That is beautiful. <laughs> she's like, okay, I can do something like that too. <laughs> she's taking all their headbands. Dang. <laughs> she just made their lives. Oh, man.
they they both look great though. They, right? They both look amazing still, regardless. Who cares? <laughs> That was one of the first things Chihaya said or thought about was, yeah, that she should be here, right? Look <laughs> at Suo just chilling. <laughs> this man. Just chilling, spectating, eating. Lenarata walking off somewhere, by the way. Focus up, regain, maybe? Or is... I don't know. Yeah, I would. This is just amazing how they do this. I I don't know. I would not be able to. Like this is something I could never do. <laughs> Honestly, like. This is amazing. Facts. Evolving. Has she won? They kind of went through that pretty quickly. I I thought they were going to get maybe some more shine to Mega Move, but really it was all in Akuma. Like, she... Uh, she gone. <laughs> she just dipped. But Inakuma is the challenger now. So we're going to have Inakuma... And Shinobu going at it? Oh my gosh, that is about to be... I guess it makes sense, though, in Akuma, like... I know it's been a while, right? She's had the kids and all that, but, like... I mean, she's been there before, right? She's been there, so... I don't know how many calories I'll have when I celebrate later. Yo, Harda! Harda has to win, too, man. Like, one of my picks, though... Has has won, so we're we're one for one. Yeah, this man just like regained or something. He just like totally focused up. I don't know, like. Dude, this match is about to be... <laughs> this shit's about to be wild, bro. This man's, like, feeling like his grandfather right now. That's what I'm getting. The, that's the vibe I'm getting. Like, he's try that's what he's trying to go for. That's exactly what I... Yep. This is what it feels like to me. Yeah. I think that's what he is going for.
I like how they went into that backstory too with them, yeah, with this with the Midori and him and this guy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Cod is all about it. <laughs> but she made that like her mission from that point, right? To get this good at it. Like, let's go. Let's go. And cool, calm, composed, collected. They're all like, "What? Like, what's what's going on <laughs> with them? Like, what? This is this seems different." That's what I feel like he's going for. Yeah, it's like he's trying to almost act like he's his grandfather. I guess, or is that like he's trying to? And it's his kimono. It's like he's trying to like impersonate him almost, yeah. No matter how far you go, Harda is still a mentor to all of us. You can't be him as just our t That's what she told him. And he took this straight to like the heart and everything. He went this like I'm gonna be my grandfather or such thing. Like, damn. That it's like he's playing against him almost. That's wow. <laughs> Transition. And look where she went. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what, they're not going to watch the match? <laughs> I can't resist. <laughs> Right, shouldn't you be watching the match? Like, shouldn't you be... Or playing. <laughs> or playing. <laughs> That's the spirit. That's the spirit. so many things the first thing she starts starts out with why do you pass these out <laughs> everyone oh <laughs> oh yeah that timing though I hate to laugh but oh poor Sumo man <laughs> she put the glasses on <laughs> ooh <laughs> Yo, no way. No way. Okay, I actually don't mind this vision. <laughs> I actually don't mind this vision. Although, I'm. This is not the ship, but I do not mind it. I'm gonna say that. Like. <laughs> neither do I. Oh man, this guy, bro. 
<laughs> my bride. What the hell, bro? <laughs> that was great. I was not expecting a scene like that, honestly, in this episode. Of all things. Right, and then it transitions right back to, like, it's just serious as hell. <laughs> like, the tension just comes right back. <laughs> For me, it's... it's. I know, we know how Chihai feels about our time. We could go on and on and on. But, but my, mine has always been tai, tai Chi and Chihaya. But, I mean, now they throw Suo in there. I don't know if they're... You know, they're, they're not going to go anywhere with that. I know, but people are probably like, Oh, Suo, Chihaya now. <laughs> Back to the match, though. <laughs> She's <laughs> throwing me off a little bit. Maybe. It's unexpected, it's unpredictable, kind of, I guess. Like, I don't think anybody was... I mean, just judging from everyone's reactions, like... <laughs> this is not what they thought was going to happen or how he was going to play, right? <laughs> that was Tai Chi. That was that was him. This has to take a lot of like, for him to be able to do this, and like not slip up or not like I don't know, not I don't know. Like this takes a lot of. Yeah, look at young oh my god look at him when he was younger no and young harada too who was fresh like i forgot the word i was trying to say for arta though like it, it, like patience you know or like just i'm trying to think of the word i can't even think of the word i'm trying to say but Dude, they were both so fresh when they were younger, man. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. He was what, 30 then? Okay, Harda. Okay. In the big, in his biggest moment so far, too. Like, yeah. But would he have done? Would he have done this without Chihaya saying that to him? I don't. I don't think he would have. Honestly, like. Oh, uh, 
Double fault. <laughs> there you go. You can't let it get to you too much. <laughs> In the moment. Yeah, so he still has a lot of time. Hara doesn't have much time. No, like, this has to be where he becomes a challenger. Because if it's not now, I don't feel like it's going to happen. Yo. Damn. At least I know I gave my all. Uh oh. Although he may feel like that from playing Karta, it's still like this is still his body. This is still his. That's not changing. The glass is breaking. Oh, they got here. Six cards down, and then the eye contact with Suo. If Suo is saying that, this man has to win. Harda has to win. If I had to pick, I would want it to be him. Dude, like it has to be him now if Suo said that. Come on now. You gotta let him, you gotta, they gotta make it to where, even though he's down, what, six cards now in the knee, like, he's probably gonna come back and win now because Suo just said that shit. Like, right? Because Arta's gonna have his time, I feel like, past this. Yo, know, whether it's next year or just at whatever point. You know? So... That's probably what they're going to go for because Chiaya kind of has to wait for her next opportunity and then Arata probably at the same time is going to... That's probably what they're going to go for, but <laughs> especially after that, it's like, man, Harda has to win if Suo is saying something like that, like, you know. But that whole thing with them going back and forth between showing the younger Harda and, you know, how he's feeling right now in this moment, playing this match against Arata, who is really embodying his grandfather, how they're going back and forth between that was just masterful. I honestly wish they would have gave in the Inakuma and Megamu match some more shine, some more time. But really, Inakuma, I mean, this show made it seem like it was she took the match pretty easily, but it wasn't like e you know that easy when you really think about it and, and really see how it broke down. But they just didn't spend as much time on it, you know, compared to obviously Harada and Arata's match, which isn't even over yet. Um, so, you know, that's kind of unfortunate, but I guess it's to be expected, honestly, when you think of it, like, I would say Harada and Arata is the bigger match. Like, for me, before these matches started, I was like, okay, these are going to be two great matches, but the, the match I'm looking more so forward to is Harada and Arata's matchup, right? I mean, because I feel like there's a lot more emotional investment um, there with the two of them, you know? Um, we're, I, I feel like we're connected more so to Arata and Harada. Compared to Inokuma and, and Megamu, you know, which Inokuma in this season has grown a lot of me. And we got introduced to her in this season. She's grown a lot of me. I feel like she's only going to grow more on me. But for the whole, for the longest stretch of this, of the series, you know, for you know, the two seasons prior to this and even what we've had so far in this third season, there's more of an emotional attachment there. So it makes sense that the show is giving more shine for this match, right? With Arata and Harda. And it has not disappointed. It has not disappointed uh, one bit. So probably see the conclusion to it in the next episode i'd say so yeah um also though i was not expecting the suo and, and chihaya scene which it was just it was it was great <laughs> especially suo's like the, the, him getting hit in the face with the ball was hilarious and then like he, him acting as if chihaya was his bride like the way he was feeling there you could just tell like the look on his face the expression just said it all like this man was on cloud nine with with this with that feeling you know so it's like dang 
<laughs> I know there's probably gonna be people joking around. There probably there might be some people who actually mean it too, and they're like, "Oh, this is the real ship, you know, Suo and Chihai." I don't like. I don't mind seeing that vision, but like, come on now. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's either Tai Chi or Arata. We it's pretty much Arata, but for me and for a lot of people I know, it's been Tai Chi and Chihai. But you know, whatever. That that was still a great scene too. That that kind of took our minds off the match for a little second there you know what i'm saying because then it, we came back to it it was like the tension was there instantly again so uh yeah man great great episode here um as always though with chihaya this match is really ramping up though it's getting better and better but now the odds are kind of against harada he's down six cards his knee it's like but uh, i don't know he, like he has to turn it around i feel like right like he has to win this I just, I just have a feeling. I have a feeling. And Suo saying that even you know pushes that more so, right? That he has to win. The show is gonna make him win, <laughs> in my opinion. Somehow, some way, however he does it, he's gonna do it. So hopefully, I'm two for two on my picks. We'll have to probably wait and see until the next episode. But yeah, man, great stuff. With uh, once again with Chihai Fu, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. If you guys did enjoy my reaction to this one, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.